Hello everyone, so I am Vanessa Navarro and I am here to give you a game overview about Mercy. Let's begin. So Mercy is a puzzle platform and adventure video game with a story revolving around Mercy, a girl who awakens in the purgatory, an intermediate state after physical death in which some of those ultimately destined for heaven must first undergo purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enter the joy of heaven. Mercy is a game appropriate for 18 years old and above. It has a wild and compelling story and no internet connection is needed to play this game. Moreover, Mercy finds out that in order to escape, she must first help the seven trapped souls attain holiness, mainly through solving different kinds of puzzles. All of the choices Mercy makes affect the game with the dialogue, characters, and story changing based on outcomes. Now, I will be featuring, rather, I will be presenting the key features of the game Mercy. So the Purgatory. It is a limited spaced environment that the player could navigate from left to right by walking, running, and jumping through places and events, each designed according to each of the seven deadly sins. As it lives by its name, the surrounding has an eerie vibe. Second would be the Mercy, or rather the girl, the protagonist. Waking up in an unfamiliar place with no history remembered whatsoever, Mercy only has one thing in mind, to free all trapped souls. She is determined to find answers for herself as well, and who knows, maybe she will. Next would be the love. The love pertains to the level of the player in the game. Mercy must collect points by solving the trapped soul's mysteries, walking past free points scattered around the grounds, knowing secret passages, and many other creative ways. The Secret Collect just enough prayers to know the secret. Mercy's own backstory. In order to do so, the player must know all secret passages and actions to obtain just enough prayers. Some actions would mean to jump from the highest elevated space and scream on the top of Mercy's lungs. This is to let people on earth know that Mercy as a child trapped in a purgatory needs prayers to obtain redemption. The Seven Deadly Sins From the hillbilly to the time traveler, all seven characters have their own unique personalities, traits, and a past that could either make you want to play more or not at all. These seven trapped souls mean seven rooms for seven stages, each one holding a grudge or depth that could really make your spines chill. Every soul incorporates a puzzle to be solved by mercy, crafted well in order to form a well-made mystery. Some other key features would be the deep characteriz characterization for non-player char characters, tasteful humor, of course, and a varied and fun gameplay. We will now be proceeding to the mechanics. The mechanics would be Mercy has three basic controls. There is the movement for moving forward or backward, jumping, and grabbing for holding and dragging, dragging objects such as bear traps and crates. Before playing the character, the player must be one with the character's confusion. Much like in real life, Mercy as a young girl still has feelings, fears, and doubts that are provoked by different situations, which in this case are the seven rooms and seven trapped souls. Moreover, Mercy has a varied gameplay per take. This means that all experiences and actions you made on playing Mercy from the first take would add up or somehow make a reaction to the gameplay for the second take and so on. This adds up to the uniqueness of the game and relates to how life works in general. Lastly would be the gameplay simulation. So this would be the overall feel of the game Mercy. So there aren't really many colors involved, only black and white or in between, and you will be playing a girl, a, ki a kid named Mercy, 
going through different kinds of obstacles in different rooms or stages. So there you go, you can see that you will be tackling with non-playing characters, which in this case would be the seven souls. So here. Thank you for listening and if you have any more questions, just comment down below. I would be happy to answer them. God bless.